Alright, this is Von Lagaya, and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. This is episode 7. So what we did last time was we came here, stored the green herbs we had found. We're going to head back down and grab some more, actually. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give myself room to bring them back up here. Before I go down there. Store the keys and then pull them out of the storage when I'm going to be opening the doors down there. So first, I just want to bring the green herbs back here before I do anything else. So I'll put the keys here and the shotgun shells as well. Just to give myself room. So now we will head back down and grab the other herbs that I missed and dispose of some zombies. Damn zombies. Being all undead and eating people and stuff. How dare they think they can do that. Okay, so here we go. The uh, green herb. Come in through this door. And there is a dead guy here, and as usual, he's going to have ammo too. Most corpses you'll see that aren't zombies that you killed will have ammo on them. There's a zombie in this room, so come over here and take his head off. Check this uh, thing here. This is a safe that they mentioned in the note that we found first, and the code is 2236. Inside is some shotgun shells and a map. Which I'm not going to use, but that's because I know where I'm going. Uh, if you, you were playing this for the first time, chances are you'd be using the map a lot. Oh, here's an, um, here comes some more, some more visitors. I'm going to take their heads off. I don't like those guys. They're assholes. Coming in here wrecking the place. How dare you. There is a... There's an ink ribbon here, which I'm going to take, and we're going to head back upstairs and store all this crap. Stash it in that box, which is magically connected to every other box. Somehow. I don't question, I just appreciate that because I don't want to have to go back and this let's play would take forever if I had to go back and get all the items from every box and bring them forward with me. So I'm thankful for the magical box and I'm betting everybody who watching this will be thankful for the magical box as well. store these ink ribbons more green herbs we found and now we're suddenly good on green herbs again which is very very nice I hate being low on herbs stuck stick that thing there and take the two keys again and we can head back downstairs so I think we just need the heart key here uh, the diamond key is later So I'm going to put the diamond key in here, because we just need to... Wait, no. I'm going to take them both. I forget exactly, so I'm just going to take them both, just to be safe. Because you never know with that kind of thing. I don't want to have to come all the way back and waste time. It's better to bring it with me, and maybe miss an item and have to get that later than have to come all the way back up here because there are storage places on the bottom floor too I am pretty sure that it was the heart key I needed though but just to be sure I'm taking the diamond key come through here again at least we killed all those pesky zombies except for one but he's lying on the floor and he won't get up so whatever 
that was the heart key I needed. Right. I was right. I should just trust my own memory instead of questioning myself. Hey, look, herbs. More of them. As if we needed any, but whatever. Never question the amount of herbs you find, because things can go wrong very, very quickly. And here, we need a uh, club key, which we don't have. There's some shotgun shells here that are all secret and hidden. And we go downstairs, and I think we're going to meet a new enemy down here. <coughs> yes, we are. No, wait. Actually, yeah, we are. The damn dogs. I hate these guys. I'm not going to waste shotgun shells on dogs. They're good. It's easy to kill them with a pistol. Now, reload my gun. Head out as close as we can, and then... leg it down the hall, because... Crap. Took a hit again. Oh god, that's bad. I'm going to have to use these right now. Bring us to fine, but luckily we were just... Cl we were right in danger, so... It got us to fine without having... To leave us still injured. The autopsy room, we don't have a key. We need the club key to get in there. And over here is the power room that they mentioned earlier luckily there's no enemies in here there's this thing power can be routed to areas with insufficient power using these five switches using all power may cause a short and cut power supply so basically this is easy you move the first one up second one down third one up fourth one down and the fifth one up and that's it did it perfectly and both doors outside get power or one door I mean here's another map here and we'll head out all right we can't get in here yet because we need a uh, a card key thing to get inside that door. And here is the parking, the parking garage. So we will head in here and head down. And now we get a, a new person, a new face. Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Okay, so we've met a woman named Ada. Help her move this truck, and uh, I think I'm going to end the episode after this. That'll be it for today. Before I head in here, I'm just going to I'm going to end right here. So, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in episode 8.